Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Magic Man. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, so here he is, formerly the baddest man on the planet, former boxing heavyweight champion, Iron Mike Tyson. Look for him to move forward. You know the flurries are coming. He'll employ that signature peekaboo style as he tries to get inside. Takedown defense could be tested. I mean, that's what opponents are going to be looking to do. They're going to try to take Mike Tyson down. Easier said than done. Don't blink or you'll miss this fight. him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Tyson. Clean punch. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. I mean, right away, no feeling on process. These boys just went and started fighting. Oh, lands a beautiful jab. Right on the button. Oh, lands another hook. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Good stick. Nice counter right hook there. Straight punch lands. Well, he's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's coming. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. He's got to start kicking, kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. Oh, he lands that teak. Slips to avoid that. Oh, oh, he's in real trouble now. Just missed with the left there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas. Under two minutes to go. Nice jab by Tyson. Oh, big left hand there. Man has his chin been tested early. Swing and a miss with that punch by Tyson. Well done. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Tyson. Oh! It got checked. Slips to avoid the right. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Whiffs on that offering. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. And that one...
one certainly found the target. Under 20 seconds now to go. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Second winding down in the opening round. Oh. Second round, straight ahead. High-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are... Oh, that's your perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Big head kick! Great block there. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Lands a shot to the leg. Both guys appeared to land there. Slips. Right hook to the head blocked. Oh, nice hook by Tyson. Follows up with another one. Oh! He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hand. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Both fighters throwing heat now. Big right hand there. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Tyson. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and... Largely has gotten it done with his striking team. He got it done with his striking He fought well behind the jab, but it was a significant strike that really did make an impact on the judge's mind. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Tyson. Straight punch is good. Different round and the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike he has thrown seemingly is finding the target. I mean, it's, it's landing. Everything is landing, J.A. And coming into this fight, he understood that he had an advantage in this particular skill. I don't know if he could have even expected it to be this bad as we have seen to this point in the fight. Nice crack there. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, my goodness. What a right hand. Nice kick. That was great head movement. Oh, man. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. 
He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Under a minute now to go. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, nice body shot. Missed on the right hand. Oh, once again, kick to the body is there. Look at that leg. 20 seconds left. Oh, how did he eat that uppercut? He's trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Oh! It's a right hand! Has just opened up on his forehead. That bears watching. Oh. Ten minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. You see the cut just above the eye from that round. So the cut man's got to get in here, close that thing up. You don't want it becoming an issue here into this next round. All right, well, the cut man has got his work cut out for him, and I believe we have isolated the shot that caused that critical cut above the eye. I mean, right above the eye, John. Too many damage and blows. He's got to change something because now every time he gets hit above the eye, the blood will start to leak in his eye, making it almost impossible to fight. Ready. Ready. Go. Crowd fired up, so are we third and final round. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here today. Push kick there to the body. Oh, back and forth we go. Over and over and over. He's landing these nasty body kicks. Big shot to the head. Trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. Man! Oh, yes, now we're going. Oh, and now an uppercut! Oh! Oh, big left hook there! Landed with the elbow there. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. This is not good. That right eye starting to shut. Straight right is there. His cardio is great right now. He's oh! Right hand good on the counter. Nice punch there. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. He's exhausted. Back to the jab now. No good. Oh, pinpoint strike lands there and not going to help the swelling upstairs. I love this accuracy, this ability to get his shots to the target right away. And you see it in the swelling that is forming on his opponent's face. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence. And when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. Shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Keep now. Don't back up. Nice job by the defensive fighter. Under two minutes to go in round three. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. 
maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. Oh, oh my God, it's hurt. He's hurt. 90 seconds to go to decide this one. He checked that last one. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Beautiful kick lands there. Right on the bridge of the nose, he is bleeding. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the strike. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Iron Mike Tyson! So Iron Mike Tyson getting it done in the UFC yet again. I know a lot of people had some pause when he transitioned from boxing.